Today we're going to add some activity pages to our website. So the first thing you do when you edit your site is you are going to go up to the upper left for your navigation and you're going to click the link to manage your pages. Manage your pages. Let's go ahead and add a page and let's pick a blank page, a blank page. And we're going to title it Academics, all capital letters, so it matches your other um, pages in the title. You can tell what page you're on by either if it's highlighted up in the horizontal menu or um, what it says on the navigation in the upper left. The first part is let's change the background to something um, not too distracting. So we are going to import a document into um, this, this page. So the first thing you will do is you're going to add and come down here to this icon where it says media. It looks like a rectangle with a mountain and a sun in it. So you wanna press that and then you need to upload your media. You have a couple of choices. Um, <clears throat> you might have already downloaded your file, a Word doc or a PowerPoint or something like a slideshow to that machine. So then in that case you would upload it. Or if it's still hanging out in your Google Drive, pick your Google Drive. You're gonna connect to your Google Drive. Make sure you're picking your school account. And you're gonna look for the file that you want to attach, a file that demonstrates your best academic ability. So um, when you select it, you're going to then upload your selection and then add it to the page. Once you add it, you should see an icon. And let me show you how this icon will work. I'm going to go to the preview mode when someone visits your page and clicks this, it's going to download. And then at that point, the person can open the file and it will open the file. So it's pretty neat. Let's go back to this, back to the editor. But this little icon hanging out by itself doesn't tell us much. So we need to add some text to tell people what to do. So we're gonna add text and um, you can pick out a heading that you like and put it next to it. And you wanna title it, um, essay, or whatever your title is, um, I'm just going to make one up, essay on Civil War. We'll pretend this is a document on the essay on the Civil War. And then, um, if you want to also make this a link, which is a very good idea because people might not know to click the icon as you press, when you press edit text, look over here at this link, the two chains link you're going to have it linked to a document. So look over here with the circles, select document, and then it's gonna ask you choose the file. You should see the file you just uh, pulled into Wix. So select the same file, add, and then click done. And you'll see this is now a hyperlink as well. So if I go into preview mode again, I could press the icon or if I press the title, it's going to download to the bottom of my screen. So that's really good practice to give your viewer two ways of getting to your content. The last thing we need to do is add some text describing what this essay is about or whatever your product is. So go ahead and type a couple of sentence about uh, maybe I wrote this essay about the Civil War for my eighth grade social studies teacher. Please click the icon to download. So you're giving the viewer instructions on, um, sorry, on what to do uh, and how to download and how to read your essay as well as describing it. So before we add another one, a nice thing to add might be, uh, let's see, it's, let's add a line underneath that to separate it. So you go to the plus button and then decorative and then um, horizontal lines. And I can pull out whatever kind of a line I think would look good. I would like a dotted line and I can make it longer and I can change the color too. If I don't like the color, I can customize it further and pick 
know, maybe I just want to keep it simple and make it black. So there we go. So then for the next, just repeat the process and you're going to have another document with a title and a description underneath it. You can keep doing this until you get at least three documents of your academic experience posted onto your website. Make sure you always hit save and publish. That way I can see all of your, pro your progress. Thank you.